Hello and welcome to Everyday Living with Penny. I'm your host Penny Malone and I have a few treats in store for you today. Uh, first of all, I'm going to be making a um, hamburger potato casserole that my mom made while we were growing up. Um, real simple, few ingredients, real easy, real good. Um, I took about 10 small new potatoes, uh, the ones with thin skin, and uh, chopped them up kind of fine. And I've uh, took ground beef, an onion, salt, pepper, and garlic, and went ahead and uh, cooked it down. And then I've got cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, a little bit of milk, and some cheddar cheese. So I'm going to spray my pan. Just make sure it doesn't stick. And then I'm going to take my potatoes and just layer them in. After you get your potatoes in, take your ground beef and onions. Just spread it across the top. Doesn't have to be pretty. Spread it out real pretty even. And you'll probably want at least a 9 by 13 pan for this. To make sure it doesn't bubble over or anything. And I have preheated my oven to 400 degrees. Okay. Now you're going to take both soups and put them in a mixing bowl. Like I said, my mom made this recipe all the time when we were little growing up. Well, she still does now to this day. I'm not for sure where she got this recipe, probably from my granny Hamilton if I had to guess. So cream of celery, cream of mushroom, and I've got about a fourth of a cup of milk right here. I'm going to pour it in just enough to um, lighten it up a little that way it's not so thick. Just use your whisk to Mix it up real good. Okay. All right, then you're going to spread this over the top of your hamburger meat. Just spread it out evenly. And the last step, you can go ahead and add your cheese, or sometimes I will wait until, um, you have to bake this for about 30 minutes or so. Um, I will wait until it's baked, and then I'll throw the cheese on top and just cover it back up and the cheese melts. That way it doesn't get too brown or anything. So here, so we'll, we'll go ahead and put the cheese on though now. You don't need a lot, just a little. Or you could do without if you don't want the cheese at all. You don't have to do this at all. Okay. And cover it with tin foil. Like I said, we preheated our oven to 400 degrees. We're gonna put it in here for about 30 minutes. And I have pre-made, so I can go ahead and show you what it looks like. And here it is, the hamburger potato casserole.
Egan Construction in Gate City is a fully licensed electrical, industrial, commercial, and residential contractor whose services include maintenance on home or corporate offices, custom-designed kitchen renovations, demolitions, insurance restorations due to water dryouts, wind damage, or fire, licensed interior designing and architectural drawings, full excavations. They're licensed in Virginia and Tennessee. That's Egan Construction, 345 Water Street in Gate City. Welcome back, and we're gonna make cheeseburger quiche on this part of the show. Um, I went ahead and browned my ground beef and put my onions in, salt, pepper, and garlic. And I have some cheese here. I'm gonna put about half of this in the mixture. The rest of it will go on top. I made enough for a double pan, so I've got two nine-inch pans here. Let's set them out. So just stir your, mix your cheese in with your ground beef really good. Okay, and I'm gonna spray the bottom of these pans really good. Okay, I'm gonna divide my mixture here between the two pans. Don't have to be exactly even. this out. Okay, so just spread your mixture before it's even in the pan. So there's that. Set this back here. <clears throat> okay, next you're gonna take four eggs. It calls for a cup of mayonnaise, which this is 12 ounces. So I'm going to put just about all of it, except leave about that much in the in the bottle. about right. Okay. Then this is a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Just pour that in. And we're going to stir this up real good. Make sure your eggs are mixed up really well. Probably should have busted them up first. Hindsight's 2020. Make sure there's no lumps or anything in there. I'm just going to make one of these. I'm going to set this one to the side. We'll do it later. But we'll... Uh, make sure your eggs are all broken up. Now once you got your mixture done, just pour it over and it'll sink down in there. And I have preheated my oven to uh, 400 degrees and we're going to let it bake for about 30 minutes. Let's see. 
sure it covers it real pretty good. And you can take the rest of your cheese and put on the top here. Okay. I'll pop this in the oven. Like I said, 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes or till it gets really um, bubbly on top and the, the cheese is a little brown. And when we come back, we'll be doing our desserts. All right, we are to the dessert portion of the show, and I'm going to make a strawberry cloud dessert. I found this on Pinterest, so this is not my recipe. Um, you basically, you use your um, cream-filled cakes like this. You'll want to chop up some strawberries. I have some strawberry gel and some whipped topping thawed out. So you just place your, this is super simple, no bake, throw it together, put it in the refrigerator, and you're good to go. Probably use a smaller pan if you wanted to, I just grabbed the closest thing I had. So after you've got your, all of your um, cream filled cakes in, take your gel and spread it over the top. What is there not to like about this dish? All kinds of sugar and strawberries and Cool Whip. Okay, then just spread it over it. Make sure all of it's covered up. Once you have that done, take your strawberries, make sure they're good and ripe. I think we got them kind of out of season here, but I would use all of the strawberries. Okay, and you're going to take your Cool Whip or whipped topping. You could even make this homemade. It would be really good. Just cover the top. Kind of like a, a layered dish. And if you're feeling crafty, you could even take some of these pieces that fell off on the side kind of throw them on the top. And there we have it. Next, we're going to do a banana pudding dip. And I got that recipe off of Pinterest also. I'm gonna get my stuff ready and I'll be right back. Egan Construction in Gate City is a fully licensed electrical, industrial, commercial, and residential contractor whose services include maintenance on home or corporate offices, custom designed kitchen renovations, demolitions, insurance restorations due to water dryouts, wind damage, or fire, licensed interior designing and architectural drawings, full excavations. They're licensed in Virginia and Tennessee. That's Egan Construction, 345 Water Street in Gate City. I'm going to mix up the uh, 
four blocks of cream cheese and a cup of powdered sugar, maybe. So don't kill the blender first. That's just the bowl. This would be where my kitchen aid come in handy. I should have brought it from home. Okay. So we've got that. And then we take, uh, I did uh, one package of instant vanilla pudding and I made it up ahead of time. That way, go ahead and set up just Pour it into the uh, cream cheese mixture. And stir it up. As you add ingredients, it will mix together a whole lot easier. So we've got that. And we are going to put our bananas in. And we are going to put in 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. And we stir that into it. Make sure you get all of the lumps out. Of course, you're going to have your bananas, but make sure everything else is completely mixed. You'll need to let this set for um, about an hour for it to set up, uh, but you serve it with vanilla wafers. And I'll go ahead and pour some in here. But after you let it set up, it thickens up and uh, makes a really good dip. And there you have it, banana pudding dip. All right, we're to the end of our show, and I have everything down here for a recap for you. Um, to go back over what we made, uh, this is our um, hamburger and potato casserole. Then here is our cheeseburger quiche. This is what it looks like after it's set for about 10 or 15 minutes. Then we have our strawberry cloud dessert, and then we have our um, banana pudding dip. And I hope you all had fun. I really did have fun finding all these recipes and making them for you. So I hope you all have a good day and join me again next time.